This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by lynda.com. What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. This is the show you could ask me any question you've got from the wide world of technology and sometimes even outside of this week. It's all about the Ks, 4K Thunderbolt displays, 2K phones, when is Android going 64-bit, and what kind of computers we use here in the offices. This is Ask the Buffalo, but let's start asking the Buffalo. First question comes from Fiatra G, who asks, John, think there'll be a new Thunderbolt display release soon with a 4K screen in Thunderbolt 2, seeing as OS 10.9.3 is coming out soon with more 4K support? So good question. Uh, I've been saying there should be a new fun Thunderbolt display for a while now, uh, and certainly it would make sense to be a thinner design. At this point, it's thicker than the iMac, which makes very little sense because they're both the same resolution 27-inch displays. Uh, but I would say we are going to see 4K very, very, very soon. Uh, you know, currently the Mac Pro lineup supports 4K. It's going to be coming to other Macs. Uh, yes, I think it makes sense, especially if their uh, desktops are already supporting it. You know, like the Mac Pros, presumably it'll make its way down to the iMac line as well. Yes, I absolutely think it's coming. I think it's going to be coming this year and probably have a 4K price tag to match that 4K resolution. It's not going to be cheap at all. Apple puts a premium on all their products right now, about $1,000 or so for the current one. I'd expect probably you know, maybe double, so probably 2,500, not 4K. I was just making a joke there. Probably 2,500 to 3,000 would be the price that'll come in at. Uh, probably at the same size, 27 inches. So yes, I think it's coming. Thunderbolt 2, that one is really up in the air. Whether Apple wants to support that or not, just continue to pushing Thunderbolt they currently have. Uh, I think probably you'll see Thunderbolt 2 uh, on board there as well. Uh, but you know, that one is really anyone's guess. Next question comes from Bao, who wants to talk chipsets. At John Four Lakers, since Qualcomm just introduced the Snapdragon 810 and 808 chips that are 64-bit, would you recommend to an iOS user who plans to switch to Android to wait for 64-bit chips? Google may make the Android OS 64-bit this year, but I really like the M8 and the S5, so this is a big question. I say absolutely jump on board. Use it for a year or two years, then presumably at that time, you know, Android will be 64-bit, apps will already be supporting it, and you'll be set. But the waiting game is going to kill you. And I get these questions all the time. Should I wait? Should I not wait? If you like what's available right now, I say jump on board and either pick up the M8 or the S5. Let's jump back to the Ks. Lucas Wenzel asks, hey, John, when will we see a big Android manufacturer jump on the 2K display bandwagon? So already sort of some 2K phones are coming to the market. But really, the big question, I think, is when is either LG, Samsung, HTC, or Apple? Uh, going to do a 2K phone. That's probably what you mean by major manufacturers. Uh, and I think we're going to see it this year, probably later end of the year. Uh, rumors of sort of a premium version Galaxy S5. Uh, I think that the Galaxy Note line's always sort of been the generation ahead of what we've seen with the Galaxy S line. Uh, so perhaps maybe the Note 4 uh, might go 2K. We've heard rumors of ultra retina display on Apple devices. Maybe their 5.5 inch phone, if it ever comes to fruition, will have a 2K resolution. The big question is not whether or not they can do it, but whether or not they can keep that display powered. Uh, while resolutions have gone crazy, high end processors have gotten more cores, battery technology hasn't really changed that much. So, unless one of those manufacturers can do something crazy with battery, you're going to have like a nine minute life uh, on your device. So, that's really been the big question. If you see battery life start to change, and technology start to change, I think the displays will come with it. Um, but I will say we'll probably see it sometime later on this year, and how long it's gonna last, really anyone's guess. Let me exhale for a quick second, take a break, and thank our friends and overall good people at lynda.com. They offer thousands of engaging, easy to follow video tutorials that are taught by the pros that know how to do things. So if you wanted to maybe learn a new skill or better yourself, lynda.com is a great way to go. You can learn software, creative, or business skills. Membership starts at just 25 bucks a month and give you unlimited any time of day, even like 2.30 in the morning, you can't sleep, 24-7 access, totally learn at your own pace from either teeny tiny tutorials or sort of giant comprehensive courses and things from anything from web design, programming, photography, business, audio and visual, 3D animation, you want to learn how to run your own business, you don't know how to start a business, uh, this is a really good resource to try. Uh, give lynda.com a free trial for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo, that's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash technobuffalo. And the last question comes from Twitter at John Lockquat22 asked at John4Lakers. 
What computer do you use on a daily basis? Is it Mac or Windows? So back when I used to do all the video editing, uh, I did it all in Final Cut. So I used an iMac. I still use that same uh, iMac for pretty much everything that I use. Um, our main video editor now, Ron, uses a PC. I use the Adobe Creative Cloud and the Adobe Suite to do all the videos. So you can use that on either Mac um, or PC. So you can sort of take your pick there. Uh, but I use uh, Macs primarily. I've got a MacBook Pro at home that I travel with. Same reason for video editing. Um, but if you don't do video editing, you know, I could very easily uh, use a Windows 8 device. Uh, I use a Surface Pro quite a bit when I'm at home, sort of fiddling around. Uh, but if I had to pick one computer to use, uh, it would probably be a Mac. Hopefully that helped answer your question. So thank you guys for watching the episode of Ask the Buffalo. If you want to get a question featured in an upcoming episode, every Tuesday we put an article up on technobuffalo.com saying, hey, you leave your question in the comments. So you go ahead and do it there. Otherwise, for social media, send it to me any time of day, any day of week either at John for Lakers or at Techno Buffalo. Just use hashtag AskTheB. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you guys next week. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.